Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to uh, crochet this very cute cat pencil case. So I have listed the materials at the beginning at the beginning of the video. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by making the head and we'll start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap. Then I'll place my marker over here. Okay, so now in the second round, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So we'll increase the next stitch. Okay, then increase the second stitch. Increase the third stitch. And increase all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet and increase And continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two then increase and repeat so two single crochets and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that now in the fifth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and we'll repeat that all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch and repeat so three single crochets and increase in the fourth stitch and we'll keep repeating that all the way round 
okay so after we are done with that now for the next four rounds which is from round six until round nine we are going to continue and do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each round so we'll continue to do single crochet single crochet single crochets and we'll continue doing single crochets all the way until we get to the ninth round okay so i'll see you when you're done with the ninth round and then we'll start the tenth round together so after we're done with the ninth round this is how the head looks like so now from the tenth round we are going to start decreasing and in the tenth round we are going to do three single crochets then decrease and we'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then decrease and then we'll repeat again so three single crochets And then decrease and we'll continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in the 11th round we are going to do single crochets all the way round so we'll have a total of 24 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets, single crochet, and do single crochet in every stitch all the way round. Okay, so now after we are done, now in the twenty in the twelfth round, uh, we're going to do two single crochets, then decrease, and we'll repeat that all the way round. For a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and repeat two single crochets and decrease And we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay guys so after you're done with uh, the 12th round you should start stuffing the head because we're almost done as you can see I've already stuffed mine okay so now in the 13th round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat that all the way round for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet and then decrease and repeat so single crochet and decrease and we'll keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so after we are done with that now in the 14th round which is the last round we are going to decrease all the way around six times for a total of six stitches so we're going to decrease and we'll keep decreasing all the way to the end
okay so when i get to the end i'll remove my marker and then i'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing like that okay so now we are going to start making the body okay so for the body we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring so i already did that so now in the second round we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we are going to increase and increase in the next stitch and increase in all the remaining stitches okay okay so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet then increase and we repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat single crochet and increase and continue repeating that all the way round okay so now in our fourth round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then increase and repeat so two single crochets and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our fifth round we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase and repeat so three single crochets then increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do single crochets all the way round but in the back loops only okay so we have the front loop and the back loop so now our single crochets will be done only in the back loop like this okay so we'll do single crochet and then in the next back loop we'll do single crochet and then we'll continue doing single crochet in the back loop only until we get to the end okay so continue until you get to the end okay so now when we get to the end now this is what it looks like as you can see we have uh, the front loop coming uh, uh, coming inside as you can see so now for the next two rounds which is round seven and round eight we are going to do single crochet in every round that's the normal single crochet so we'll have a total of 30 stitches in every round 
so we are going to continue doing single crochet all the way and we'll do single crochet in this round and the next round which is the eighth round so i see when i when you're done with the eighth round and then we'll start the ninth round together okay so after the uh eighth round from the ninth round until the 16th round sorry from the ninth round until the 28th round we are going to start making the upper part where we're going to make our zipper okay so instead when you get to the end instead of continuing in a spiral round we are going to turn okay so i'll show you so we continue to do single crochets until we get to the end Okay, so continue doing single crochets until we get here at the end. Okay, so when we get to the end of the ninth round, instead of continuing, we are going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so when we turn, we are going to do single crochets all the way round. Okay, so we are going to continue and do single crochet. All the way until we get to the end here where the marker is okay so I'm going to do a single crochet until here on top where the marker is and when I get to the end again I'm going to do a chain one and turn and then I'll continue doing single crochet from the very start here. Okay, and continue doing single crochets all the way until we get here. And then again, we'll do chain one and turn. Okay, so we'll continue doing that until we get to the 28th round. So from here until the 28th round, we'll have... 20 rounds of uh, 30 single crochets okay so continue until you get to the 28th round and then we'll do the 29th round together okay so after the 29th round this is how our little pencil case looks like as you can see so now in the 29th round we are going to continue to crochet in spiral okay so we are going to join this side and this side over here and we'll do single crochet okay and then i'll just place my marker over here and then i'll continue to do single crochets all the way around Okay, so continue to do single crochet until you get here where the marker is so we'll have a total of 30 stitches okay so when we get where we joined again I'm just going to do a single crochet here until where I uh, put my marker okay so now in the next round which is round 30 we are also going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 single crochets so we are going to continue and do single crochets all the way until the end okay so now in round 31 uh, we're going to do single crochets but in the back loop only just like the way we did over here 
okay so we'll go into the back loop and do single crochet and then in the next back loop do single crochet and we'll continue to do single crochets in the back loop only all the way until we get to the end so we'll have a total of 30 stitches okay so continue all the way to the end okay so when we get to the end now in round 32 we are going to do three single crochets then decrease and we we'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease then we'll repeat so three single crochets and decrease and we'll repeat that all the way round okay so now in round 33 uh, we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat that all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and repeat so two single crochets then decrease and we we'll repeat that all the way round okay so now in round 34 we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we we'll repeat that all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and repeat so single crochet decrease and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that now in the 35th round which is the last round we are going to decrease all the way around so we'll have a total of six stitches okay so i just place my marker over here and then i'll decrease all the way round So guys it's raining really heavy right now so in case you hear background noise i'm really sorry Okay, so when you get to the end, just going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to attach the head over here. Okay, so now we are going to make the muzzle. Okay, so the muzzle is quite easy, it's only four rounds and we are going to start by making the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so one two three four 
three, four, five, and six. Then I'm going to pull the yarn to close the gap. Like that. And place my marker over here. So now in the second round, we are going to increase all the way around. So we'd have a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so we're going to increase. A little bit tight, okay. So increase, okay. So increase also in the next stitch. Increase in also the remaining four stitches. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next three stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, single crochet two, and single crochet three. Okay, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase. Then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches. So single crochet one, two, three, and four. Then increase in the next stitch. So increase. Then single crochet in the remaining three stitches. So now we have a total of 14 stitches. Okay, so now in the fourth round, which is the last round, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 14 stitches. So we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until you get here at the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, just going to remove my marker, then slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Like that. So our little muzzle is complete. And this is the one we're going to sew over here on the head. Okay, so now we are going to make the ears. Okay, so the ears are also quite simple. We are going to start by doing four single crochets into the magic ring. Okay, so we'll do single crochet. One, two, then three, and four. Then I'll close the gap and place my marker over here. So now in the second round, again, we're going to do single crochets all the way around. So we'll have four single crochets. So I'll do single crochet, single crochet in the next stitch. And single crochet also in the remaining two stitches. OK, 
okay so now in the third round uh, we're going to increase every stitch around for a total of uh, eight stitches okay so we'll increase first stitch then increase the second stitch increase the third stitch and increase the fourth stitch okay so now in the fourth round we are going to do single crochet then increase and we repeat that all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch then repeat again single crochet then increase and then you repeat again two more times single crochet increase then single crochet and increase okay so now in the fifth round which is the last round we are going to do single crochets all the way around so we'll have 12 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so when you get to the end i'm going to remove my marker slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing like that okay so you're going to make the other ear the exact same way that we made this one okay so now let's make the legs and the tail so the legs are quite easy so I'm just going to explain then you can do it yourself so uh, this is just seven rounds of six single crochets so what I did is in the first two rounds which is uh, this the first round where I do six single crochets in the magic ring and the second round where I did six single crochets I used a white yarn and then after that I changed the yarn to the pink yarn so from the third round until the seventh round uh, we're using the um, the pink yarn okay uh, so we basically do six single crochets from the start until the end uh, which is round seven also you can choose to use the same color whichever color you want okay so do seven rows of seven single crochets and that's it so you're going to make four of these okay now for the tail the tail also is quite easy so this is just 15 rounds of six single crochets okay so you just do six single crochets in the magic ring and the rest until round 15 you do six single crochets okay so we don't stuff the arms and the tail also we don't stuff okay so now let's join all the parts together okay so guys uh, i finished putting all the parts together I know uh, joining all the parts together can be quite tricky so what I did first is I put the zipper and to put the zipper you have to flip the pencil case on the other side so that you can sew it in as you can see from the inside okay and then after that I place the head on top of the on, on, on top of the parts uh, the part where we finish up 
and I joined the head and the um, directly on top of the uh, body part or the purse part and then after that I joined uh, the ears <coughs> sorry and for the ears I counted from the top one two and on the third round that's where I attached the ears down and same on the other side on uh, from the third row from the top you just attach the ears like that and then after that um i joined uh, i put the uh what is it called the snout as you can see so for the snout i just counted from the top one two three four five and on the fifth round uh, that's where i attached it and then i stuffed it a little bit before joining the whole part together and for the eyes as you can see they are directly on top of uh, the snout where it ended and on this other side and then i embroidered uh, the little mouth over here or you can say the nose and uh, to embroider the nose i used this bright pink colored yarn and i did it in a triangular way so like this and over here as you can see and then uh for the arms i attached it you remember where we did um in the back loops only that's where i attached the arm on that round and it has to be in line with the ears like that <coughs> sorry and also on this other side i attached the arms just on top of where we did on the back loops only same i attach it directly just below the ears as you can see and now for the legs i attach it also just here where we did the back loops only uh, that's where i attach the leg first and then uh, when i came here i also did a little bit uh, of stitching uh, so that it can lie down like that and same on this other side and then for the little tail, you just attach it directly, uh, directly in between the two legs. So this is how it looks from the behind. And then from the front, this is how it looks. Okay, so you can fit in a little bit of the pencils like that. So it stretches a little bit. Then you can close it. So that's how it looks so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos until next time bye